Welcome back to another episode of Small Girl Big Talk. So I recently asked ChatGPT to give me a good description of my podcast. Like I actually inserted the link to my podcast over there so that it can study the past 50 episodes and everything that I've written and recorded. And the thing that stood up to me of what ChatGPT said is small girl big talk is where real conversations meet personal growth. And I love that description because I think it really describes this platform perfectly. Like when I created this podcast, I honestly didn't know where was I headed. But 50 episodes later and, you know, getting inspired every single week for different topics, I think that's pretty much what we are doing over here. I know the overarching theme has always been about adulting, like talking about life experiences and how we kind of navigate our own journey. And the whole intention is really about bringing comfort in your adulthood journey so that you feel a little bit less alone and that's like I mean like that's what I have been feeling about this podcast so I just wanted to share a little bit about that if you are new to my podcast hello I am Wendy I am your host this is my safe space on the internet and this is where real conversations meet personal growth So today I want to talk about finding your people and specifically about how community is able to help us to really elevate our personal growth journey. And I'll take it that if you are listening to this podcast, right, chances are you are someone who care about your personal growth journey, whether it's building better habits or maybe manifesting your dream life to make more money to grow in your career, or maybe it's to improve the relationships that you have. Whatever it is, these are all the things that you care about and you want to really grow further in life. But we also know that the personal growth journey is something that's easy, easier said than done, Right? Like it's so much easier to say that I want to make more money, I want to achieve my dreams. But the truth is our brain is made for survival. It is so much easier for us to just stick to what we are currently doing because it is where our comfort zone is. And it is harder to really step out of our comfort zone and move forward and to grow further. And... Today's episode, I want to talk about community and finding your people because I truly believe that the term personal growth, even though it says personal there, right? It isn't really a personal thing. It is truly a community thing. It is something that you can only experience fully. You can only witness the true power of personal growth when you have community when you have network so that's kind of really what I want to talk about today and I think I'm just going to go right into the key points that I want to get through that so the first thing on how community elevates personal growth right is number one you get help from people who are more experienced about a certain topic or maybe an industry for example right When I got into podcasts a year plus ago, I didn't know anybody personally who has produced a podcast before. So it is a very foreign experience to me, to be honest. And I remember getting into it, just figuring it all out by myself. I mean, I'm very grateful that we live at a time where Google is around, ChatGPT is around. So there are a lot of answers that we can find ourselves through the internet. But one of the things that I did that kind of opened me up to a network of local podcaster was I found out about this um, podcasting event, like a Podcasters Day Asia event, thanks to another podcast friend from Singapore that um, shared the link with me. And she's like, hey, I think you might like this. And I was thinking like... I really need to expand my network in the podcasting world because I know nobody. 
I I mean like in person, right? Like I have my podcast friend in Singapore, but she's an online friend and I was trying to meet more people. And I'm really glad that I bought a ticket and I attended the event and because it was through there that I actually got to know a lot of local podcasters that I am really grateful to be able to call them my friend now. Um, even though we all have very different niche or topics when it comes to our podcast, some of them are podcast producers, some of them work for like the advertiser side of podcasting world. And, you know, the, the, the ones that produce their own episodes, like the indie podcasters, they are like very different topics from mine, not so much in a personal growth space. Um, there are some that does true crime, that are, there are some that does really, um, how do you say this, like casual topics, there are like movie podcasters, all sorts of different topics, even though we produce different kind of things, the experience of producing podcasts itself is similar. And I am very grateful to have these friends to kind of give me tips on how I can grow or share with me what they know about certain tools or, or you know, even like ways to grow their podcast and stuff like that. So I'm very grateful that I was able to find that community. And, you know, there are other things in your personal life where you can also benefit by the fact that you have a community or a network that can help you. Um, you know, because people are just more experienced in that topic. For example, Kevin and I had this close group of friends where the other two couples in these groups are married. And I feel like because they are married or recently married, they kind of understand the experiences that we are going through and we are able to kind of connect better in that sense. So I feel like different areas in your life, when you have the right community, you are able to get the support to kind of get guided to get through life even easier because these people, they understand, they know, and they've been through that before. Another thing on how community is able to help you to really grow faster is that you are pretty much changing the conversations that you are having. For example, I have been growing in an entrepreneurial sense for almost, I want to say five or six years now. Actually, it could be a little bit more than that. Like ever since maybe 2018, 2019, I've been starting to freelance. I've been trying to grow on YouTube, on my blog and all this stuff. And it was back in 2019 when I got retrenched and I was really getting into the coaching industry. And I was also freelancing. Like even though I was able to make money back then, right? I realized that I didn't know how to scale my business. Like there were a lot of things that I didn't understand or I didn't know about businesses. And that was how I got somehow connected to my current workplace, my current employer, my boss who is also a serial entrepreneur. And in my day job, I actually manage an entire community of entrepreneurs from around the world. And all that I can say in the past five to six years of my experience is that when you are getting into something that you are completely stranger to, like you really didn't know how things work. Like for me, I was coming out from university and going into being uh, like a normal day job employee, right? So that was the background that I have. And most of my friends and my family members are all just someone who takes a salary and get through life. I didn't really have a lot of people in my networks that are entrepreneurs that have grown their businesses before. So it was very helpful when I was able to assimilate into this community because the conversations that I have on a day-to-day -day basis really change. I went from someone who sits on a table with you know, friends who maybe complain about politics, complain about the government and about their employers to sitting on a table with people who are always looking for opportunities to grow the next thing, to make more money. And it was very eye-opening for me at first when I get into it. And 
I've learned a lot in this journey and I wouldn't be able to kind of fit it all in in here. Um, but in this context that I'm sharing, I think it's just very interesting to see that if your goal is to become a successful entrepreneur, if your goal is to build a successful side hustle and exit your current day job, you have to be able to put yourself in that situation to grow faster towards where you want to go. Because if you are just staying at where you are, being in a community of all your um, you know, salaried friends, it will be harder for you to gain the support and have the conversations that can help you to move further in that direction. So thirdly, when you have a community, you have a support system to really uplift you and to keep you focused on your goals and intention. And the example that I can think of about this is through my current new community that I am in, which is through my hobby of bouldering or rock climbing. So I'm sure you might be familiar with a gym environment or other fitness or sports environment. And I think the nature of sport itself, it's always very encouraging because usually you have a goal whether it's to beat your opponent in a badminton game or whether it's to hit a shorter time in running a half marathon or it could be hitting your PR in lifting a heavier weight in the gym. So sports in itself can be very goal-focused and the people in the environment because everyone shares similar value in terms of like trying to achieve them, they are generally very supportive and uplifting. And there were so many times when I am in the climbing gym when perhaps there was a route that I just felt like I was too afraid to complete the route because it was going too high and I didn't believe that I could do it. Like there were so many instances where strangers that I didn't even know would just be shouting from the bottom like, you're just one step away, you can do it. And it really pushes me to achieve that goal. And I'm sure you know how great it feels when you get to achieve something that you thought you couldn't, but you did. And it was a very good feeling. So being in the right community can really help you to get that support system that continues to uplift you and cheer you on in your journey. The fourth thing that I want to share about is the power of reciprocity. And I feel like when you are in a community, you would meet other people who share similar experiences. And you can grow yourself by watching videos from gurus or experts on social media, by attending classes or watching videos on YouTube. You can do that. But I feel like the most inspirational kind of person would always be that person who is very similar as you in your journey. For example, it can be quite motivating to watch a video of a very fit, muscular guy teaching you how to lift heavier weights, but it wouldn't be as motivating or inspiring than like say your friend who used to be 150 kg he actually like worked out so hard and had shed like 50 kg of his weight and is still going on like it's always the people who feels most familiar to you who feels like an everyday person who then achieves that goal that you are also kind of moving yourself towards like that is when things are really really inspirational and I think that's the power of community it's not so much about like having an authority figure that is inspiring you or motivating you it's really having a similar level person who is going through similar things and when you get inspired by that person and you start moving forward you will be the motivation or the inspiration to someone else who look at your journey and feel, hey, if she can do it, I can do it too. And this will create a ripple effect, not just within the community, but also beyond the community itself. 
And lastly, when you have a group of people that are kind of going through similar experiences as yourself, there is also the power of accountability as well. So it is easier for you to feel motivated to complete a task when there is that peer pressure. When you know that everyone else is doing that homework or that task that you are supposed to do as well. And it just makes it easier for you to show up even on days when you don't feel like showing up as well. So that is the power of accountability and how community is able to help you to elevate your personal growth journey. Having said that, I also understand that it's not so easy to just find your people. I mean, number one, you need to first figure out what are the things that you put the highest value on because then you know that is exactly the values that you are looking for in other people. And then there is the whole stage of like putting yourself out there and starting by making small talk and then getting into more serious conversations and then having repeated like communication to kind of improve the relationship for you to figure out if this person shares the same value and you know are able to kind of become your people like I know that it takes time and you have to put in the effort and it can be uncomfortable sometimes but it really does make it easier if you are able to kind of just push yourself to get out there first like Say you are someone who is, I feel like the best example is always like, say you are a salaried employee and you are trying to become your own boss. Like, I feel like that is what a lot of people want to achieve today or they say that they want to achieve today, but they have not pushed themselves to do so. And I'm just going to take that example again, right? And I feel like it's actually not as hard as it, it as you think that it is. And to find like-minded people in such community, there are many ways you can attend events that are related to such topic. I feel like these days, post-pandemic, there are a lot of in-person meetups or classes that you can attend to kind of expose yourself to the topic, but also build your network. Or there are still a lot of online communities that you can join for free. There are Reddit groups, there are Discord groups. And I'm sure that if you have, say, a content creator or a YouTuber that you really look up to, they probably have an online community that you can be a part of from there too. Or you can also take after my step, like I've bought tickets to attend events to meet people. Like that's how I got to know the podcast community here in Malaysia. There are many ways to do that. You just need to put in the effort first. So coming into kind of the reason why I wanted to talk about this topic today, it's because I am finally creating my own community and I want to invite you to be a part of it. So as I kind of explained at the start of this podcast, that this has always been a space where real conversations meet personal growth. And I am very glad that I've kind of created a space where we can talk about these topics and share about our experiences. But this podcast has always been kind of like a one-way communication. Like I have an Instagram page that some of you sometimes would message me and would comment and, you know, get in touch with me. But I kind of want to bring the conversations about this thing that I talk about beyond where it currently is and that is why I am creating a Patreon community where we can bring our conversations beyond that and I really want you to be a part of it. So I'm just going to share with you what are the things that you will find in my Patreon community. Number one, you will be receiving love letters from me. So as someone who started my content creator journey as a blogger for 10 years, writing will always be my first love. And I would be sharing with you more written posts on the community that are typically linked to this episodes that I release here on my podcast so that we can have 
conversations about these topics. And having said that, if you are joining this, people who are like-minded as you, who are attracted to this topic, would also be a part of it. So you can connect with people who care about self-growth and self-care and want to keep moving forward. Thirdly, I would also be sharing about the behind-the-scenes updates about my journey as a content creator, a podcaster, and an entrepreneur. I am going to share more in-depth updates that I don't get to share over here in my podcast. Um, so I believe that would be very helpful if this is a journey that you are considering to take on yourself. Um, I really wanted this podcast to be a shared space. And that means that by being a part of my community, you would also have direct influence on future episodes because I really want to know what you want to hear and learn about. Like your ideas and input would really help shape episode topics and guests. So I will be putting polls in the group. I would be asking questions about who you want to invite and all that stuff. So that would be really exciting for you to be a part of as well. And I'm just going to put it out there first. So this community is free to join because the main intention is for me to really engage in conversations with you. But I also do intend to release a paid membership in the future where you would get to access my personal development templates and resources. I plan to have co-working and accountability calls and you know, share all the video lessons and tutorials about all of my templates and stuff like that. But those are like future plans. So don't worry, just come join us for the free community that will always be there. But if you are thinking of taking your journey a step further, that is something that I am intending to release in the coming year as well. So I just really want to take this time to invite you and share about this community with you because I'm really excited about it. This is basically kind of like a teaser and a, a sneak peek of what you can expect in the Patreon group and it would officially be launched next week. And I've been putting a lot of hours in setting it all up and planning things about it and it's been quite exciting and I cannot wait for you to join and be a part of it. So stay tuned for the link and all the, of the announcements in next episode and also in my Instagram as well. So I would say that this community is for you if you are on a journey of self-discovery and you are seeking tools or stories or guidance to help you to grow. If you are interested in setting goals and intentions and creating a life that aligns with your personal value, if you are looking to build self-awareness and improve yourself with compassion without the pressure to be perfect, because I am into personal growth but in a very soft, self-loving and self-compassionate way. And I think most importantly, if you are someone who wants to create positive change in your life while also inspiring others to do the same, I cannot wait to welcome you into our community. So that's all that I have for you today. It's kind of like a shameless promo that I'm having for my community, but I'm not even ashamed about it because I know that this is something that's going to really help both you and I even more in our personal growth journey. And I honestly cannot wait for you to be a part of the family and to really grow together with me. So that's all that I have for you in this episode and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye!